Eating burgers with silverware and tension over garlic? A former royal chef spilled all the Queen's eating secrets, some of which are bound to surprise you. Members of the royal family have countless rules to follow, from strict dress codes to whether or not they're allowed to shake hands. As far as food goes, royal family members must wipe their faces inside the napkin's fold while eating, so as not to make a mess on their clothes. Furthermore, anyone who had the honour of dining with the Queen herself was supposed to stop eating when she did, regardless of if they were finished or not. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Queen Elizabeth II was also specific about what she ate and how it was prepared, according to former royal chef Darren McGrady. As the chef cooked in the royal kitchen at Buckingham Palace for over 10 years, he gained more than enough knowledge of what the Queen did and didn't like to eat. Firstly, McGrady shared that Queen Elizabeth II didn't eat fast food. If she ever got a craving for it, the chefs would cook up their own versions for Her Majesty. The monarch was reportedly particular about burgers. As McGrady told Insider, they would have burgers but not the buns, so they would eat it with their knife and fork. The royal family would also occasionally request a barbecue in the hills of Balmoral Castle, the Queen's summer home in Scotland. McGrady told the outlet, It always tickled me at Balmoral. We would make our own burgers. They would shoot deer and we would do venison burgers. Despite indulging in the odd burger, Queen Elizabeth II stayed away from shellfish and instructed other members of the royal family to abstain from eating it as well, per BBC News. Because the monarch and other royal family members have always had extremely busy schedules, it's of the utmost importance that they avoid getting sick or contracting food poisoning. However, not all royal family members seem to abide by this request. In fact, Prince William revealed that he and his wife, Kate Middleton, love sushi. And King Charles was seen tasting oysters at the Whitstable Oyster Festival in 2013. McGrady also revealed that the Queen hated garlic and forbade dishes containing the ingredient from being served at any table she was seated at. However, the Queen's husband was apparently a big fan of garlic. The former palace chef told the Daily Mail, we could never serve garlic to the Queen, but Prince Philip loved it. If we were at Balmoral and Queen Elizabeth was out, we'd slather Prince Philip's steak in garlic. When it came to onions, the Queen reportedly allowed them to be used in small doses. However, the late monarch was apparently staunchly against eating garlic because she didn't want her breath to smell during official engagements. I, I hate to say this, but garlic. So garlic is a no-no. Garlic is a no. In an interview with Us Weekly, McGrady also dished that Queen Elizabeth never once requested him to cook pizza. The former palace chef explained he began to make the classic Italian dish when he moved to Kensington Palace to cook for Princess Diana, sharing that Prince William was a big fan of the food. As for why the Queen never served pizza for her family, Chef McGrady shared with Insider, The menus at Buckingham Palace are very traditional French, which wouldn't lean towards having pizza on it. Her Majesty's Victorian upbringing dictates that the only thing you would pick up and eat with your fingers is afternoon tea. Despite there being an extensive list of foods the monarch didn't eat, there were several dishes Queen Elizabeth enjoyed. Her Majesty was reportedly a big lover of dark chocolate, and she also appreciated foods that were either harvested or hunted from the land of any of her residences. McGrady disclosed in an interview with Us Weekly, She loved game too, and even more so if it's from off the estate, whether it was salmon, deer from Balmoral Castle, or maybe some venison from Sandringham House. The Queen was also known to pick her own strawberries at Balmoral, to be eaten fresh with ice cream per Vanity Fair. The strawberries were also sometimes made into jam, which was often slathered on sandwiches, McGrady revealed to YouTube.